go do a quick update on how to update your Zoom. At the moment, according to my system, I'm on 7.0. I just plugged in the GCE3 and it said there's a later version. So I Googled it and that's the first thing that comes up. So let's download the zip. Uh, should be fairly quick. I'll leave that coming down. And what I normally do, I like to unpack it here. Oops, sorry. I like to unpack it and put it into the directory just in case there's a change here. Yeah? So I'll just leave that to download and then well, it's already 27 meg already actually. Oh, sorry, that's pretty quick. For my internet, that's pretty quick on this old computer. Okay, it's come down. So when we open the folder, it'll be in downloads. And what I generally do is right hand click, uh, scan with Microsoft Defender. It should have already done that, but I just, I don't know. I just quite like to make it do it a few more times. And I also tend to scan it with malware bytes because I'm kind of kinky like that. That'll take a little while. I'll just leave that running in the background. Actually, whilst malware bytes is running, I've just got my, I'll put it around this way. I've, oh, me. I've just got my M2 plugged in. Uh, it's coming via the cable. It's all down there. Uh, go into the zoom there. I'm using the standard three and a half mil jack. Powering it off the USB. The computer is just providing power at this point, and it's going straight into uh, a little Logitech set of speakers there. So not great output, but you can hear it. So that's what's coming out of it in a minute. It says it's done. Sorry, uh, multitasking is normally done. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay. So now we can begin to copy this. So right hand click, copy, or cut rather. Move it to here. Uh, paste, pasty, 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 sorry, get it in view, the guitar's holding me down, uh, paste it in there, now we should be able to unzip it to, I think here's good enough, because I think it creates its own folder, yep, and we go in there, and we've got the guitar lab installation, so we'll just double click on that, and that will tell us about how to do it, uh, it's just a PDF, but basically we're going to some information about what's changed. So I think there were some problems with the GC, whatever. So let's hit the setup. And it should start to install it. Probably come out on the other screen, knowing my luck. It's sync yet. Yeah, come up on the other screen. So here we go. I want it in American English. I don't, but that's good enough. Uh, yes, I accept it because we all read that. Not too bad. Normally there's tons of stuff on these things. It will install. Uh, it comes up with Ubiquitous. Do you want to run it? Yes, yes I do. I trust you, Zoom. I think the Japanese did a great job with the Olympics at the minute, including actually winning a lot of medals. So, you know, I trust the Japanese in that sense. They're pretty, pretty decent with electronics and stuff. So, it's just installing, removing files, removing backup files... So it's just basically putting this on top of the existing guitar lab. And then we should be able to start it up. We won't do the PCAP on it. I did that in the early video, or which I will publish. So, uh, yeah, launch the Zoom. Okay, finish. And I'll put it onto this screen. Let's just use this trick. You single click, double that. Everything should disappear. Yeah, it doesn't do it. There it does. Okay. So now there's my guitar lab. I'll bring it onto here, I'll make it full size. Go on. No device found. Now this machine's pretty slow. So it seems to take a little while to find stuff, but in the short term, let's unplug. I don't think there's a search, so I think I have to physically unplug it. Yeah, it gets upset. And then plug it in again. Just do that here. And now in theory the light comes on which is gone green so that's good and it should show up here eventually just takes quite a while i find this is another thing with it you, you, you sort of wait and think has it done it has it found it and eventually it finds it yeah so it did find it on the older version and it's the other reason why i keep the older version just in case it goes wrong i can reinstall the older version file quit preferences zoom guitar lab update history okay doesn't seem to have found it. Ah, and I think I had this problem before. It doesn't find it, then you reboot the machine and it does find it. But before we get to that stage, let's just see if there's anything we can do to device found. So I didn't have to reboot it. Sometimes you find something works and it becomes like, oh, that's the algorithm I use. And it turns out it's just complete coincidence. So very slow computer. 
it's just found it and it should boot it up and this is where we saw in an earlier video it's chatting back and forth to the mothership i don't know if my network's going crazy at this point and with any luck we should be able to to load some stuff on so i'll just pause this whilst it does this because it's a slow computer you don't want to watch that okay well it just finally come up said a new firmware is available for your device it's like okay let's see if we can get it i don't know what it's going to do but um so far not quite as exciting as the original program which oh uh, now it's woken up okay interesting interesting now it's woken up okay so let's see if we can go for a g5n device found so i suppose it's now talking to this little device here and telling hey man honest you're a g5n mister um and i don't there we are look there we are so what does it mean have we got any patches lead begin ufo quite a lot so i don't know i'll have to look and see if these are the same patches that one gets in corona i like that one but why has it got a little triangle next to it why you got a triangle next to you? you haven't got the right effect or something all right we'll see what happens there Okay, it's doing something. So, my cup of tea is making noise, which is good. So, a reser clock. Okay. A muff, yeah. So, it's clearly doing, you know, the, the B1, sorry, the, the, the guitar is, or bass is going through the little box and doing something. Uh, okay, and so it's just coming straight into a little set of phones there. At one point, I'll put it into a into the bigger stack. Okay, I'm liking this already. So my next things to do would be yeah. So to recap, the installation of the update was okay. It found it for a change. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, maybe you do that to see the effect. No, that's the set of effects on it. Okay. Oh, editor. Sorry. Ah, ah look. Okay. So what? one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is a lot more than's on the normal pedal. Yeah. Okay. So I will play with this because my hope is that I can find some more information out of this about as things for the other pedals. Yeah. And see if we can't remote control them um but yeah so to recap i plugged it in on my computer it took bloody ages to find the new device it's just the way it is the computer's not very fast then it asked for a device update firmware update which we did and now it seems to be working so yeah I, i'll have to think about how to visualize this stuff because um at the moment it's showing me there which is pretty cool yeah uh, but obviously what I'd like to do is to see whether I can talk to this thing and get it to work remotely. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to check the tuner as well. There was something up here. There's the tuner. Okay, that's pretty neat. So that's, that's okay. I've just been in a bag in the garage overnight. So it hasn't lost tune too much. I can work with that. Okay, end of the update. Looks pretty good, the, the latest version. And I'm going to have a bit of fun with this tiny little pedal, I think. And then see if I can make it remote control. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.